All right, hey guys, this is Francisco Hernandez again um, of FJ Photography, or as many of you, um, some of you guys know me as Joey. And today I'm going to show you how I would remove an octobox, you see, an octobox, out of uh, out of a shot. And it's really simple. I try to keep things simple. Um, basically, if the whole reason why I'm actually getting the octobox in the shot to begin with is because I want the softest light I can get. Like I'm a, such a big fan of soft light. So sometimes you need the light really close for that soft light. Well, sometimes you know the of of course the octobox is going to be inside the shot. So um, of course you can um just move it slightly to the right just so that it's out of the shot. But you do lose you know that bit of softness. And let's say for example you um you were in, you know not even in terms of softness if you needed the you know your your subject to be lit up. And you needed it to be this close, like for example, if you wanted the the ambient to be this dark, you know, let's say if you wanted to, you know to completely overpower, you know, the ambient, and you needed the light to be close so that you know the subjects lit up pretty nicely. Um, well, then that's another reason why you would have it this close. So yeah, so just a new, just feel like I need to explain before I even get to anything. So yeah, so this is the shot that that has you know the light. The octobox out of the shot. So I'm going to show you how I would do that. So let's see. First thing I would like to do, uh, I like to do is, you know, first of all, I'm going to have the shot with the octobox in it in the frame, right here in the background layer. That's just, you know, you could do the two ways, but I'd like to do it with the that one on the background layer. Then I'm going to add this shot here on top, um, the one without the octobox, and I'm going to lower the opacity to see where it start. You could um. You know, actually, I think I'll just try that out. I'm gonna do um this thing, this technique where you can align the layers. Let's see, edit, auto align. Okay, you can't auto align yet because I think either because this one's locked. So let me make a copy of that. Edit. Okay, no, it's because this one needs to be rasterized. So I'm gonna rasterize it. And you actually have to be careful where you're gonna click. So I'm not gonna click here. I'm gonna click over here. And then from there, then I'll be able to auto align. It's under edit, auto align layers. And mm, I'll just put auto. And then boom. So, of course, you know, I, I obviously didn't get, you know, the correct framing. So, you know, that's why this little bit of Octobox is still in the shot. So, you gotta have to, you know, gotta be careful about. You know, making sure that you actually take the exact frame because obviously I didn't. I forgot to, you know, frame it more over here to this side. So, yeah. So this is the shot right here. I I tried to make sure to tell her to stay absolutely still. So just for the sake of, you know, trying to get the sh same shot. And she was actually pretty still. You can see the light right there. Um. So yeah. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave that one on. I'm gonna put a mask I'm gonna invert it and then I'm just gonna paint on uh, let's see I'm hitting B for the brush tool I'm gonna make sure my opacity is pretty good uh, it doesn't really matter as long as it's showing up okay and now I just need to paint it on oh yeah there you go And I've, there's no point really in going all the way over here to this side, but there you go. I mean, I guess I could go to the top and get some of the top layer. Yeah, there you go. Oh, to the side too. All right, and, and that it's really simple, guys. From here, I'm gonna just gonna crop and I'm gonna start editing. So yeah, you could either do this method, um, or you could you know use some I don't know hardcore Photoshop and try to just remove it yourself that would be a little too much of a pain you know I did it right now in less than a couple less than a minute I think so yeah um was gonna say just make sure that you have um a tripod if you want to really like make sure that you don't have any mistakes so you know it because obviously I, I didn't do it perfect here you know so if you use a tripod it'll make everything a lot easier and then yeah, from here I'm just going to crop and then I'll be done. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video.